Hey guys, Anthonalog here, and in 2015, many budget phones have been coming out, so how does Google's tried and true budget phone, the Nexus 5X, stack up to the competition? The 5X is a pretty basic phone. It's made of matte plastic, and the design is pretty simple. You can get it in 16 or 32 gigabyte variants, and you can also get it in black, white, or mint if you want to make your phone look like a bar of soap. One thing that's pretty terrible about the white model is that it discolors, and mine has turned a little bit yellow on the edges, and there's also like a pink splotch. I'm not sure why, but that's something I don't want to see in any phone, even a budget phone. I've gone through three Nexus 5Xs. Two of them have been good, but one of them has been bad. It creaks when I handle the device, and the USB-C port is kind of shaky, and overall it's just not a good thing to see in a phone. So for overall build quality, the good ones are good, they feel solid, and they have heft to them, but the bad ones could use some improvement. The screen on the Nexus 5X is pretty nice. It's a 1080p screen, it's sharp, but it doesn't really have that pop that higher end phones have. Regardless, it gets really bright and really dim, so if you want to use it in complete darkness, it's totally fine. As I said again, I've gone through three Nexus 5Xs, and one of them, this one, has had a warm tint on the screen, which is something I don't like to see. But the other two, they're perfectly fine and they're color accurate. So moving on to the speakers, or I should say speaker, because one of them is actually just an earpiece. The bottom one is the only one that transmits sound, and it's pretty terrible. There's no dynamic range, and it's all tinny, and distorts at high volumes, and overall just not a good speaker. One welcome addition to the 5X though is the fingerprint sensor on the back, and it's pretty good. It misses my finger about only 1 in 20 times, so that's a 95% success rate, which is pretty good. It's not too fast, but it's also not slow, where you have to hold it for 10 seconds and wait till it can unlock your phone. It goes pretty much like this. Anyways, it's a pretty good fingerprint sensor, and I have no complaints here. So the camera on the Nexus 5X is actually the same one as its bigger brother, the Nexus 6P, and it's pretty good. There's a laser autofocus, dual tone flash, and of course the actual camera. The sensor inside is 13 megapixels, and the lens that's paired with it has an aperture of f2.0. Pictures are nice, but not particularly sharp. Colors are pretty accurate as well. In low light, the photos get pretty grainy and soft though. Overall, it's not a good camera in well lit situations, and it's not that great in low light. One thing that does kind of save it though is that if you turn HDR Plus on in low light shots, it does remove kind of that grain that you'll see, so it makes it just that much better. So for software on the Nexus 5X, we're running stock Android Marshmallow, which brings a couple new features but not a totally revamped to Lollipop. Some welcome changes are the app permissions control and Doze feature, although I'll talk about the Doze feature and how it's completely useless on this phone. Performance on the Nexus 5X is kind of spotty. It's snappy and performs relatively fast, but as soon as you pile apps up and use up the RAM, it gets laggier. Sometimes apps take a few seconds to load and the OS can drop frames if you're doing some intensive tasks. But for the most part, performance is pretty good on a daily basis. So on to battery life now, and I've gotta say it's pretty disappointing. I wasn't able to get a full day of medium use, and that was about 2 hours to 2 hours and 30 minutes of screen on time. And the Doze feature is also completely useless. When I was in school, I've seen a drop significant just like it was on the older Lollipop phones. And there really wasn't a difference with it Doze on and Doze off. I'm kind of disappointed in battery life, but keep in mind I keep Wi-Fi and LTE on at all times. And Bluetooth, it is connected to my Huawei watch right here. And also, I have location turned on. But everything else is turned off and brightness is set to a quarter at auto. Once again, I got about 2 hours and 30 minutes of screen time consistently, and that's pretty terrible. Alright, so in conclusion, the Nexus 5X is a pretty okay phone. It has disappointing battery life, uh, a kind of spotty batch system where some of them are good and some of them are bad, but overall it's not that bad of a phone because the camera, the software, and the performance all make up for it, and not to mention the pretty good screen that's on the good batches. So my conclusion is that a good batch will definitely serve you well, but a bad batch might leave you a little disappointed. Other than that, it's a great phone, and if you're looking for a nice solid budget phone at around $330 right now, it's definitely a great phone to buy. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, tell me why in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.